Hello and welcome back to Chatterbox with me, Jen from Genesis Designs and Modelcraft. I'm here sitting with a project that isn't online, it's just something I'm fiddling about with in the background and of course my resident Yeti with coffee in it. So there's been a gap, hasn't there? I know this. It's been it's been a few weeks since I posted anything. And probably longer since I posted anything useful, frankly. Um so I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that the here and the now and the why. Um, and to touch on mental health because essentially, long story short, and I, I, don't, I don't think there's any need for me really to sort of uh, bear my soul here and explain everything that's been going on, but there's been some fairly momentous changes going on in my life uh, this year. Um, and the upshot is that it has caused something of a I'll call it a remission uh, with regard to anxiety I was diagnosed with anxiety and depression some years ago now due to a build up of a lot of different stresses but primarily work based um, and uh, I had the relevant treatment I had a little bit of medication for a while and I had some um, counselling and what have you and I came out the other side pretty much okay. But it is my belief, uh, and some may disagree, I don't know, but I think once a person has has been into those places, been through those things, I don't think they ever really leave you. Like most other things in life, in life things leave a mark. And um, I, I believe in myself at least that I'm somewhat more prone to to feeling the effects of anxiety since that time than I was before and that is the case now or has been of late and the reason I the, the main reason I wanted to talk about it honestly without one in this this isn't self-promotion this isn't a pity post please don't think that um it's come up recently in the press and been widely touted and rightly so actually that scientists have discovered or, or medical professionals have discovered that modelling is good for one's mental health. This is no surprise to most people I suspect. Um, I think you could say the same for pretty much any hobby really because the very act of focusing your mind on something other than your woes or whatever it is that's niggling at your mind takes you out of that place and puts you in a different one and thus offers some relief and I think any kind of uh, hobby or many hobbies can fulfill that role I don't I, I do not think modeling is unique in that at all anything that provides a person with something to focus on that's enough of a focus to take you out of the place where you are will do that I say this because I know it to be true with my other hobbies uh, primarily to talking about uh, currently motorcycling and mountain biking because both of those things have the ability to remove me from my current state of mind as well <clears throat> forgive me if this comes across as waffly anyway as I said the, men the mental health professionals have suddenly realised that modelling is good for us and of course many in the modelling community widely shared that and again rightly so the problem with this for me is that in my case it has precisely the opposite effect because when things are bad for me inside my head I can't do modelling. Um, I found this when I was ill before and I've found it again lately and the reason I wanted to highlight that fact honestly is because if any of you out there do suffer with issues mentally you could be sitting there with all of this going, going across all the all the pages on Facebook and in the press. Oh, modelling's good for your mental health, and you might be sitting there like I do, completely and co totally unable to pick up a model and work on it. Because if you can't muster what it is that makes you want to model, you can't do it. Because it is, at the end of the day, an expression of oneself. It's artistry, to a to a large extent. Um, and, uh, and thus requires a certain state of mind to to operate. Um, I find that I can't do it. Um, I 
I also find that because this hobby and aviation in a larger sense are huge passions in my life I've been doing both I've been following aviation and making models basically my whole life I didn't want to force it despite the pressure of running this channel and wanting to get content up despite the fact that I know people are waiting on the mosquito episodes and all the rest of it I didn't want to force it because doing that especially for someone of my type of mindset over and outside of having mental issues <laughs> um, it's uh it'll take the joy away basically and then and then where are you you know you push yourself to do something because you know you're supposed to enjoy it and then you don't enjoy it and it it takes the joy away ultimately so i i refused to push myself into into modeling and i had it in mind to make this video for some weeks now um I've just been away for a couple of weeks and I, would, I did want to get this out before that but the opportunity didn't arise and I didn't do it so here we are today um, thankfully for me at least I am beginning to get to a point where I can pick things up and do them again which is what I've been doing here messing with a Tamiya kit an oft quoted way of removing oneself from doldrums <laughs> of any type uh, modelling mojo issues always resolve with a Tamiya kit or so they say um, so yeah I just wanted to put it out there that uh, everybody's not the same and whilst modelling undoubtedly is and can be good for your overall mental health and for, for those of us who have issues with it don't go sitting there thinking it has to be because everybody's different um, I found myself in the weeks leading up to going away that the, the, the enthusiasm to do something was certainly there. I wanted um, to sit and make a model. Indeed, I bought a couple. Um, but I would come and sit here at the bench as I am now and I'd sit and look at, you know, the articles on the bench and, and nothing was there. You know, there was no spark. So th that was the issue. And I think I am. I'm beginning to get past that now and hopefully we'll be able to sort of get back into doing the content and getting on with things so there you go that's that um as i say going forward i think things will return to normal hopefully over the next few months but if they don't at least you know why you know um so yeah that get, get, gets me just neatly onto the subject of what i will be getting on with and essentially it's as it was the mosquito will get finished yes it will uh, the next instalment of that will be the next thing that comes up after uh, any chatterboxes and reviews that I throw up in the next week or two. Uh, the Buccaneer and the the 148th Airfix Buccaneer and the 124th Airfix Spitfire will be the main sort of feature builds, if you like, probably for the remainder of this year, if not into next. Um, and there are a few sort of side projects that I hope might be able to sort of sneak in and out or be on the sidelines a little bit notably on the hobbies hurricane i'd like to do another one of those um excuse me and a um qatari spitfire as well hopefully and there's also the prospect maybe of a, of a harrier sneaking in anyway enough said i've got some i've got several kits that around to do reviews on i have been sent some uh, review samples by a couple of companies there's one here uh, so I've got some reviews to do on those so there will be content coming out in the next several weeks but if the modelling itself continues to be a bit sparse you do at least know uh, that there is a reason for it so that's that for this one a nice short one um, I did film some b-roll footage so if there's some random sort of cutting snipping and bits and pieces you know <laughs> that's what that was otherwise it'll just be you sitting and looking at these swordfish parts for 10 minutes anyway I'll leave it there I will be back soon hopefully everybody as well um, as ever I'd like to extend an enormous thank you for all of your support especially although I don't like to single it out but especially those of you who who have and continued to donate through buy me a coffee and um, of course the support of, of the guys who look after me in the industry as well so that's it for this one i'll see you all soon uh, and with all of that said it only remains for me to say look after yourselves look after each other and genesis out.